Hey everyone, it's Anna from For Real again. I have had many questions recently like, Anna, how do I get rid of this annoying iPhone lock to owner message? Or what do I do about this iCloud activation lock? And there are a ton of services, software, and methods out there that claim to help with this. But let's be honest, it's hard to know which ones work and which don't. Plus, many of them will cost you a pretty penny. But what if I told you there's a way better, safer, and accessible alternative that's faster and guaranteed to work? It sounds too good to be true. Well, stick around because today, we're diving deep into multiple methods of removing the iPhone locked to owner message. And guess what? These tricks work not only for iPhones, but also iPads and Apple Watches. And of course, they're legal. So let's jump in and banish that pesky iCloud activation lock for good. Before we start, this guide is only for those who genuinely own their device and need help finding their login details. We're not here to help anyone break the law or mess with stolen devices. Being respectful and legal is critical. Our video follows all of YouTube's rules and standards. All right, let's delve right into the good stuff. Dealing with an iPhone locked to an owner can feel like hitting a brick wall, but don't fret, there's always a way around. And the key to unlocking this virtual door is understanding the services available to help. For example, consider Safe Unlocks. It's one service that's gained a reputation for its effectiveness in dealing with iCloud locks. The reason why it stands out is because of the simplicity and straightforwardness of its approach. Now imagine this. Another service that stands out in this field is iUnlock app. You have to appreciate how they've focused on making their service user-friendly. It's been designed with the user in mind, handling the technical aspects behind the scenes while you enjoy the results. Then there's the AI-powered unlocking web app by Unlock Here. It's innovative and clever. It uses AI technology to streamline the entire unlocking process, making it both fast and reliable. This feels like the future, doesn't it? And you can never forget Locked to Owner. This service is your go-to solution when an iPhone is locked to an owner. It's remarkable how they've developed their service to address this issue. Remember that the following steps are equally important as we'll be discussing how to utilize Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. Exciting. It's essential to know these unlocking services primarily operate in first world countries. If, for some reason, you're unable to access these services or prefer not to use them, we've got another route for you. Every week, we offer 250 unlocks to users engaging with our videos. Want to be one of them? Follow these simple steps. First, hit the like button on this video. Next, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Finally, drop a comment below. Now this isn't just any comment. It would help to mention your phone model, like Samsung S9, along with your IMEI number and country. That's it. Once you complete these steps, you're automatically entered into the unlock giveaway. We couldn't make it any simpler, right? Remember, clear and concise is the name of the game here. All right, let's get right into it. Open your favorite browser on your phone or computer and head over to unlockhere.com. This isn't just any website. It's an AI assistant powered web app designed to help you unlock any mobile phone restriction you're dealing with. Here, you'll meet Nifty, our friendly AI bot. Let Nifty know you're looking to unlock iCloud by simply clicking on activation lock. Pretty straightforward. Next, you'll have to choose your device. If you're an iPhone user, select iPhone, but don't worry. If you're using an iPad or Apple Watch, you can choose those as well. You'll need to provide your device's IMEI or serial number. Now you might be wondering, what's the difference? iPhones always come with an IMEI, so choose this if you're unlocking an iPhone. Some iPads and Apple Watches have IMEIs if they've got a SIM card slot or cellular capacity, but most only come with a serial number. To find this information, press the sleep button on your locked device, press it again, and tap on the I at the bottom right. Voila, you have your device information. Remember to input the information here. Now don't forget the next bit, it's crucial. You'll need to provide some basic info to attach the order to your account. It has to be accurate info to receive your order confirmation. Next, you'll need to check a few boxes. First, agree to the terms and confirm that you're not trying to unlock a stolen device. Then, take a moment to prove you're human. Solve the quick CAPTCHA and hit Start Process. You should now receive an email with a confirmation code. Quick tip, check your spam or junk folder too, as sometimes it can end up there. With the confirmation code in hand, head back to the Unlock Here website. Enter the code, confirm you're not a robot once more, and boom! Your unlock process has started. 
and your device is on its way to being unlocked. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here, you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. And there you go, but hang tight. We've got more methods coming up next for those who might not be a fan of this one. Let's explore some more alternative ways to legally remove the iCloud activation lock. Let's navigate this minefield together. Your first port of call should be reaching out to the previous owner. Ask them nicely to remove the device from their iCloud account. It's a pretty straightforward process they can do online by logging into their iCloud, selecting the device, and hitting Remove from Account. If contacting the previous owner is not an option, your next best bet is to contact Apple's support service directly. Their dedicated team is there to help out with issues like this. You'll need proof of purchase to confirm you're the rightful owner, so be sure to have that. Once they verify everything, they'll help you unlock the device. Third on our list is a slightly more technical approach, the recovery mode reset. Using this method, you can completely erase your device and the activation lock. But remember, this will wipe everything, so it's a last resort option. If you go this way, understand the process and follow the steps carefully. Lastly, consider using an unlock service if all else fails. It's like the ones that I shared earlier. Remember guys, the best way to prevent iCloud activation lock issues is to ensure the iPhone is unlocked before buying it from someone else. Always double check to avoid this problem altogether. That's the end of this leg of our journey. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks on unlocking your iPhone's full potential.